Hi guys and ladies, let's take a look at our new boat, then do a little fishing in the cold, wind, and muddy water. Tomorrow we can try making my favorite chicken wing recipe, and if it works, I think you'll wanna try it too. Let's first go fishing. I don't have a lot of hope for today. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Well, here it is. The boat doesn't look much different than the old one. You see, it comes with two seats, but today we're just going to use one. And as you'll see in the boathouse here, we can keep the battery charged up. It has a fish finder too. It's a new one, but I'll have to learn how to use it later. Let's start fishing. The temperatures are dropping and the wind is howling. I've been out here fishing for over an hour, but the water is just too muddy until now. Oh my goodness, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, my drag. Oh my. Unbelievable! <laughs> A crappie the size of Montana. Oh my goodness, look at this crappie. It's starting, it's starting to rain out here. I've had it, but look, I just caught my personal best crappie ever. This is like 15 and a half inches. I've got to get it in the house. I'm going to fillet him. Oh my. <laughs> I never caught a crappie this big. Can you see it? This is huge. <laughs> Let's get back in the house. It's crazy out here to, to be fishing. Look, I've determined this to be a black crappie. Black crappie have seven spines. You can't always go by the spots. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and here's the seventh. Ouch, that's a spine. That means it's a black crappie. White crappie have only six. Okay, I was off by one half inch yesterday, but even a 15 inch crappie is still my biggest ever. There is something about miserable cold weather that makes big fish hungry. Now for part two. I'm determined to make General Tso's chicken the low carb way. First though, let's quickly whip up an Asian side dish. I don't know if Asians have zucchini in their diet, but I want to try something Asian with these two. I have to somehow cube this. Let's try this. I've got a couple tablespoons of olive oil in this skillet and I've got eight ounces of chopped onion from the store. Store-bought's the way to go. I'm gonna saute, whoa, no! I'm gonna saute, I'm gonna saute these for a couple of minutes. I got the skillet on pretty high heat here. And look, this is black bean sauce. It comes like this. I think I got this at, at an Asian market. There's about three tablespoons. This stuff is salty. Be careful. Here goes. Look what else I have. Two teaspoons of chopped garlic from the jar. It's easier. I'm gonna stir this for one minute. Here goes our zucchini. Look at it all. Yikes. 
I should have brought out the huge skillet. Look what else I got. Oyster sauce. I'm going to add a tablespoon to this. Here goes a teaspoon of light soy sauce. It says stir, stir, stir. Maybe that's why they call this a stir fry. I'm putting in a couple of teaspoons of the sherry wine. Oh, that smells so good. It says let it cook until the zucchini is soft but still crisp. How could you have both? Oxymoron. It's been five or six minutes and what I have here, I don't know if it's necessary or not. I'm no cook. But this is a cornstarch slurry. A couple tablespoons of water and a half teaspoon of cornstarch. Let's see if this helps. I might thicken it up. Let's taste a piece for saltiness. Mmm. Mm, perfect. It doesn't need salt. I'm going to add some pepper. I think we're done. This is great. A lot of Asian going on here, but it's great. Zucchini in black bean sauce. I'm finished with this. I'm going to bowl it up. How do I do this? Uh-oh. That isn't going to work. I'm going to add a little sesame oil to the top. Maybe a half teaspoon. A lot of this recipe, I just winged it on my own. Look, this is another example. How about adding a little sesame seed on top? We're gonna do General Tso's chicken wings today. And look, I've got about three pounds of chicken wings here. Let's get on with the recipe. I'm not sure how to do this, but I'm supposed to separate the wings from the drumette. Hey, it worked. <laughs> from the drumette, the wings and the drumette. Usually it doesn't work. I've got our wings all cut up and it's on non-stick foil. You have to either spray the pan or use something like parchment or non-stick foil. <laughs> I learned. Now, this is going in the oven for 45 minutes until, until crunchy and golden brown. <laughs> we'll see about that. While our chicken is roasting away in the oven, I ought to tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way over here for dinner tonight. Well, you, you already know, uh, we've been seeing each other for over 50 years now, but for some reason, she doesn't seem to want to marry me. If I could only stress to her the benefits of marriage, maybe, maybe she'll reconsider. How about now we do the General So sauce on this back burner? I'm gonna start with this little pan, and into it, white vinegar, three tablespoons. Now look, rice vinegar, I'm going to use two teaspoons. Now, three tablespoons of light soy sauce. Next, a quarter cup of water. Now, I've got to add granulated sugar substitute, so I'm going to use Splenda. I know, I know, it's poison. Everybody says it's poison. Come on, get real. There's one. I'm too old to worry anyway. One, two. This is not in the recipe. I'm just winging it, <laughs> literally. Okay, here's two teaspoons of ginger paste. I don't have fresh ginger right now. This isn't in the recipe, and it does have carbs, but spread over the entire recipe, you'll get very, very few uh, carbs. It's hoisin sauce or hoisin sauce. Let's put in two tablespoons. I've cut up a few green onions and I'm going to add that. Uh oh, oh no. And I'm going to add these to our sauce. Look, I've got crushed red peppers here. I'm going to put about a, I don't know, half teaspoon. Maybe too much. Here, I've got about a half teaspoon of gaur gum or guar gum. I can never say that and a strainer. And this is a thickening agent with almost zero carbs. Let's add that. It's got to be well sifted. Now we'll just whisk away. I'm going to bring this to a boil, then simmer it for two minutes. Our sauce is thickened up. My intention is to put it in a bowl now, and then we can toss our chicken in it. 
It's been about 42, 43 minutes. Let's get it out. I know this oven. Yeah, that's pretty brown. They're looking good. Now to sauce them up. Uh, the non-stick foil worked pretty well. I'm going to return these to our sheet pan now. They're looking so good. I'm of that school that if something is good, more of it is better. So what I'm going to do is paint on more of our excess sauce. I've got our broiler on now, and I'm just going to put these under the broiler for two minutes. Wow, look at how brown and nice. Hope it's not overcooked. I don't think so. This recipe is concluded. Oh, this is so good looking. Let's see, here's a loose piece. Oh, it's sweet enough. It's, it's, the, the seasoning is amazing. It's all oriental seasoning. This is everything you would want in a general so chicken wing recipe. Wow, try it. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, dingy deficient double wide. And you had a chance to partake of my zucchini in black bean sauce and my General So's a chicken. What did you think? They were both delicious. The zucchini was tender and flavorful and I enjoyed the sesame seeds. And the chicken was excellent. And it also was very tender and moist and juicy and mm. both were flavored beautifully. Thank General you. General So yes. came through for me. Yes, yes. <laughs> Miss Cheeks, I, I was reading the other day that a big benefit of marriage is that married women live longer than single women. Did you know that? Mm, yes, but married women are a lot more willing to die. Hmm. Um, can I have a hug?